just got a contact form in from Sally and Max in Oregon. They write, we just had an illegal lockout within, without any notice in writing. My husband was staying on the property during the week and taking care of the yard, etc. I had moved to our new home closer to our grandkids, which is about 45 miles away. When my husband got home, a man was changing the locks and winterizing the property. He wouldn't allow my husband in to get the rest of our personal belongings. Can we get in trouble if we get our belongings? What should we do? Please help. Well, Sally and Max, you really have two questions. And I want to address the first question, which is whether or not you'll get in trouble if you access the property to get your own belongings. The answer is no, you won't get in trouble. These are your personal belongings. You have an absolute right, especially where there's been no notice to you in advance that your house was being seized. You have an absolute right to your personal property. So gain access to your property, secure your belongings, and you will not get in trouble. Now as to your second question, that's a little bit more complex. What should we do? There are five things that you need to do. One, you need to get in contact with the police and report the wrongful lockout. Two, you need to re-enter your property, gather as much evidence as possible, use a videotape, use a digital camera. Three, you need to call your bank right away, tell them you have not abandoned that property and that you don't want them on the property again. Four, you need to talk with your neighbors. You need to find out if the neighbors have been contacted by the contractor who locked you out. And then finally, five, you need to inventory any personal belongings or valuables that have been wrongfully taken from you.